Hey everybody, it's Tiffany. I hope you all are having a fantastic day. I am just finished teaching my class and I wanted to do a quick video. So the other day I did a round table um, speaking event. I was actually a speaker for one of the round tables for a self care um, event for a women's group. So you had three tables and you had uh, about 30, 40 women in a room. They're all at these three tables and you had three health experts going from one table to the other. We had about 20, 25 minutes to speak to the group that was at our table. So I was the fitness and nutrition expert at my table. It was a really awesome event. I'm super excited. Thank you to Atlanta Independent Women's Network for inviting me as one of the expert panel speakers. But one of the things that um, kept coming up, I was talking about physical activity and nutrition and getting you know physical activity in your life and of course talked about nutrition that works for women's lifestyles and one thing that kept coming up that i noticed when i was talking to to a lot of the women were injuries there are so many women who were saying similar stories you know tiffany i, I used to work out a lot or I, I enjoyed being physically active when i was younger but a big part of the reason i'm not now is because I was in a car accident and I got injured and you know I was off my feet for a long time and I started gaining the weight and it just kind of became a vicious cycle. Or I used to work out a lot, I was a dancer and got hurt and got an injury and had to have surgery and da 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 and I couldn't work out anymore and it just, I started gaining weight and became a vicious cycle. Or I got injured from something like you know I tripped and fell or something happened and I wasn't in the best of shape so it just got worse because I couldn't work out because of my injury or I've had a lot of surgeries for whatever reason and you know, my abdomen section or on my shoulder and I literally can't lift my shoulder or I can't bend or, so hearing so many women just discuss the fact that a big part of the reason that they're either not physically active or not as physically active as they used to be is because of injuries and surgeries. And I, I was I was saddened, but it's not the first time that I've heard it. It's, it's, it's starting to become commonplace to hear women talk about the fact that they're not getting enough physical activity because of injuries and surgeries. The one thing that I told every woman I talked to, first of all, listen to your doctor. If you are injured, if you're hurt, don't overwork whatever injury you had. Make sure that you allow yourself to heal. That was also a situation where a lot of women were saying, you know, I had to give myself time to heal. I went back to the gym or I had to go, you know, decided to go back doing something that I wasn't, shouldn't have been doing and just kind of re-injured that and that injury, it just became chronic pain. Um, so first and foremost, if you're injured, listen to your doctor. Don't jump back to a workout or don't jump back to doing that thing that you were doing that caused the injury in the first place. Give yourself time to heal and really let that, your body just kind of heal. Um, the second thing I would do is, of course you wanna eat healthy when it comes to an injury because you definitely wanna make sure your immune system is high. You, you definitely wanna make sure the rest of your body has what it needs as far as nutrients and vitamins to put back into your body what it lost due to the fact that you got injured. Your body is constantly working to keep you healthy and keep you well. And so when part of your body gets injured, now your body is, is, is doing everything it can to focus on that injury, injury to make sure that it heals and keep you healthy. So it's doing all the other functions. Now it has an injury on top of it to work with. Okay, so imagine you have a child and you have five kids and one kid falls down and you're trying to hurry up and pick up the baby and you're trying to make sure the other kids are okay. That's what your body is doing. It's, in, it's working overtime to make sure you're well and healed. So do what you can to help it, to help it get better, to help it heal. And don't try to jump into a workout really quickly after you have injured yourself. The next thing I would say is after you've let that injury heal and you've got the okay from the doctor, when you go back to the gym or you go back to whatever physical activity you like, take it slow. Don't try to go into it and jump in it too fast or go too hard. That's when you will re-injure yourself because you haven't given your body time to get accustomed to that workout or that fitness routine again. Now, if you say, well, Tiffany, I wasn't in the best of shape before I got injured and the injury just made it worse, I would say, again, take it slow. I li literally told a lady, if, you're, if you've been injured and you, know, you let yourself heal and you kind of fell off, then just do something as simple as five squats a day. In your office, in your home office, in between clients, whatever it is you do, five squats, that's it. Or five, you know, leg, uh, calf raises, something extremely simple. And she was like, but Tiffany, how, how can that be helpful? And I was like, it's helpful because you were doing zero and now you're doing something. It doesn't mean you're gonna lose a ton of weight in a day or a week, 
but it does mean that you're giving your legs a workout. You're using those muscles in a way that you weren't using it the day before. So my point is when it comes to injuries, you need to make sure that you heal. You need to make sure you give yourself time to get back into your physical activity and make whatever physical activity you go back to simple as possible. Slowly add it back into your life just so you can keep your body moving and keep yourself going and you can help your body heal and definitely pay attention to your nutrition as far as at least getting a couple, you know, meals of vegetables in with your with your meals or if you supplement, make sure you get superior vitamins so that you can again help your body heal. So I wanted to do a quick video about that because that was something that kept coming up as far as the injuries and you know just all these women who were saying they had been injured and they had surgeries and all these things. I want to do a quick video to just talk about that and address that. So ladies, keep it going. Try to stay injury free. If you've never had an injury in your life, if you've never had surgery in life, clap because you are one of the few and you're extremely in a, in a good, good place as far as your health. So that was all for today. This is Tiffany with the Build Body Wealth Fitness Empowerment Through Fitness series. And I hope you all are having a fantastic day. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.